Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Within Excel, Slicer's visually filter data within tables, pivot tables, pivot charts, data visualizations in Power View, and Power Pivot tables and charts. To insert a slicer into a worksheet with the exception of a data visualization in Power View, select one of these types of objects within a worksheet. Then click the Slicer button that appears within the Filters button group on the Insert tab within the ribbon to open the Insert Slicer dialog box. This dialog box displays the field names of the associated tables of the selected object. Click to place a check mark in the checkbox next to the name of the field by which you want to filter the data within a slicer. Then click the OK button within the dialog box to add a slicer for the selected object into the worksheet. To insert a slicer in a Power View sheet, click and drag a field from the Power View Fields task pane into the data visualization area. With the data visualization that is created from the field still selected, click the Slicer button that appears in the Slicer button group on the Design Contextual tab that appears in the ribbon when a data visualization is selected within a Power View sheet. To reposition a slicer in the worksheet, click and drag the slicer panel to a different location within the worksheet. To resize a slicer, use the resizing handles that appear around the perimeter of the slicer. The slicer displays buttons that represent the unique values contained within the selected field. To filter the selected object, click the button within the slicer to choose the associated values to display within the associated object. The selected data object will then be filtered by your slicer selection to only display records for the current button selection. You can use the multiple selection techniques of holding down the shift or control keys and then clicking multiple buttons within the slicer to select multiple adjacent or non-adjacent slicer buttons to filter for multiple values if needed. You can clear any slicer filters applied by clicking the clear filters button in the upper right corner of the slicer pane. To delete a slicer, click the slicer pane to select it and then press the delete or del key on your keyboard. Alternately, to delete a slicer, right-click the slicer pane and then select the Remove Field Name command from the pop-up menu where the field name value is the value of the field used to slice the data. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.